Hey you guys, this is Jasmine Tates again and I am back with our series and we are continuing on um, on how to start this cleaning company without you doing any of the work. All my stay at home moms, oh my goodness, my inbox has been like really full with stay at home moms. That's like, I hear you, I want that same thing you know my husband wants me to go back to work but i don't want to this is the perfect opportunity for me to be able to um contribute to my household financially but still get what i want with being able to spend time and make memories with my kids so i'm glad you guys are back um so i'm going to be talking about how today's video specifically is talking about how to uh, start this company with under a hundred dollars a hundred dollars and less it's like two dollars shy of a hundred dollars okay so the essentials each business has to be established with the right foundation right i mean we got into like this hustle mode situation but we can't run business in that hustle mentality um like we can't treat it as a side hustle. We have to treat our business as an actual legal entity, like an actual business. So like, okay, you have to pay taxes. You wanna make sure that you have your write-offs. This is how you establish the right business, okay? So a couple of things I wanna talk about. You will need your domain for your website. And this is where you're going to create your company name. Um, I don't want you guys to overthink this piece. A lot of people will tend to overthink um, the business name. Like they want to be super creative. Like, I don't know, Sacramento Sassy's Cleaners, Sassy Cleaners. Okay. And that's kind of cute, actually, when I think about it. <laughs> But you want to be something that's going to help you with your SEO, okay? That's going to make your company um, more better searchable, okay? Search um, SEO stands for search and search engine optimization, okay? So this is when people are looking up services on Google, right? And um, most times when people are looking for a service, they're like, hey, I'm looking for a cleaning company near me, right? Or I'm looking for a cleaning company in New York or a house maid service in Atlanta, okay? They're going to type what they're looking for and in what area they're looking for it. So the best way to do that is to create a nice, neat, um, simple name that's gonna help your company be searchable, okay? Um, to where like, I, I guess Sacramento Sazzy's house cleaners isn't that bad. I mean, because you have the location and you have the service that you're providing. So something that's not going to be like super, super difficult to where like they don't understand, like white glove service, right? Like, what is that? Like you, you offer car service, um, I don't know, like, what do you like, a butler, may, like, you know, that name can kind of get uh, a little lost in translation if somebody doesn't fully know. And you want your business name to be easy, explainable without you having to be there to explain what it is, okay? So you want to make sure that your name is very um, SEO friendly. I remember when um, I was getting ready to launch an actual, like a physical cleaning product with my cleaning company. And I thought, oh, let me change my cleaning company name to Clean Lily. This is pretty. It's like, it fits products. And I did the whole thing, um, like for the products, right? Like all the stuff you're supposed to do with trademarks and all the stuff, right? And I was getting ready to change the cleaning company website and rebrand it. And uh, I was talking to my business manager. They was like, you know, this is going to like totally mess up our SEO. I'm like, why? They was like, well, because Google doesn't even recognize this word as a real word. I'm like, but I found it on Google. They're like, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> so, you know, we ended up changing. We just didn't end up going with it like that. But, you know, that name is pretty, right? But is not SEO friendly, okay? Um, so I recommend using um, Namecheap.com down below. I'm gonna have a list of all the links that you can um, get your domains from and the thing that I'm gonna go over today. Um, you can find a domain as little as $6, maybe, maybe as high as $10 on there. So $10 domain, boom, set, okay? Um, next is your email. You need to have a business email. Please don't have Sacramento Sazzy's Cleaners at gmail.com. 
please 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 okay that's not professional y'all it's not it's not at all so um you want to get your email address with your domain to where it will say info at or hello at however creative you want to be not too not too creative okay info or hello thus i would stick with those two um at sacramento sazzy's cleaners.com okay and you know that i think about saying out loud cleaners it makes me think of like a um probably need to put house cleaners or maid cleaning service or something i'm sorry like i got off totally off topic because when i said the word out loud it made me think of like an actual cleaner like you go drop off your clothes you know like i go drop off my husband you know button ups so that's what it kind of makes me think about but <clears throat> y'all get the drift <laughs> and email i like to use google works i'm going to drop that link down before below as well and it's only like six dollars a month to to have a professional email address okay last thing is the phone no not last thing the next thing is the phone number because you're going to be communicating with them through phone and you don't want to give them your regular phone number because your phone is going to be blowing up all the time of the day that's what you want but not on your personal phone <laughs> not, on, not on your personal phone okay so this was like the expense that brought it over the hundred and i was like but i want it to be under 100 so if your budget will not allow you to go over 100 to have a free phone then you can use a google phone number okay and then once you start making some coins get it switched over um i use a company called open phone and it's really awesome because it's an app that I have on my phone and I communicate with on this app, on, like on that app with as an, an additional phone to my cleaners, to my clients, my business managers, everything on, on this, on this phone, um, without having to carry and actually have a separate business phone. Like I would lose that thing all the time if I had to carry two phones around. So when somebody calls in, I can easily identify that person or whomever is calling in as a client or somebody from the business because it'll pop up it'll say you know what the business name and then who's whomever is calling or like the phone number and then you'll know to get you like your professional voice on like hello thank you for calling right versus you can't be like hello they're like uh is this sacramento savage cleaners uh yes yes this is i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> and then what's also perfect that I love and I'm going to teach you about later, you know, stay tuned is when you bring on your virtual assistant to run your cleaning company. So you're not even having to do the work. Um, they will be able to put the app on their phone, too. And then the phone would ring on both devices um, where she would be able to pick up the phone and answer and do all the things that you're supposed to do. And then you can put yours on silent or just take it off. You know, as you grow and evolve, you can you know, lessen, lessen the amount of work that you're having to do. So open phone is $13 a month. I love it. I'll have the link down below. Um, and Google phone is free. Okay. Um, the next part is a DBA. So now this is another part where it said like, you know, if you want to keep it under a um, hundred dollars, then I recommend getting a DBA. Now, of course, I can only find the price in here located in the state of Texas. Um, a DBA is roughly around $25. So that is doing business as some places, you know, it'll say like an assumed business name or it'll say um, a business license. That's basically what that what that is. So bare minimum, you need to have a DBA and then file and get an EIN number with your uh, EIN number with IRS and get your DBA with the Secretary of State, whichever state that you live in. Now, if you do have funds, extra funds available, then I would recommend getting an LLC, a limited liability um, company. So that right there is provides more protection to be able to keep your business funds separate from your personal funds because this is a business of people and some people may be crazy people and um <laughs> and you just you just want to make sure that you you just keep your personal funds separate so like if somebody ever trying to come for you they can't come for the personal they can only touch the business okay um so i would definitely recommend getting that as well um but like i said if you have to build up and get the llc later just 
invest in it later and then um but get the dba at least okay and all of these things are write-offs you guys all these things are business write-offs okay um next thing is your website so when i first started my cleaning company i went through wordpress you know it's, it's like the the go-to for for websites and um um i did it i'm going to get my website and then in my in like my template or that i end up uploading was i think it cost like five hundred dollars and it was nice it was basic but it was nice um but i later changed it when i changed my booking application over my booking platform over to booking koala which is like my absolute favorite i've tried several different types of booking platforms and of course you know you know you guys can try your own and see what works best for you i'm just sharing you know what what i like to use but booking koala seemed to have the most features at the best price point um and so with booking koala you pay 57 dollars a month and booking koala you will get to also have a website i'm going to drop a picture next so you can be able to see it um, what it looks like um but booking koala is is probably one of my favorite platform because of the features that it has to offer i mean it offers gps tracking for your for your cleaners um check-in so that way the clients can see um, you can upload before and after pictures. You can have signature sign-offs. Um, your cleaners will actually get an app to be able to uh, manage their schedule and to be able to like pick up cleaning jobs that gets put into the system. Uh, it's a really, really good platform. And like I said, it's only $57 a month. Um, the platform I was first using cost $197. Um, and that was a pretty high expense, but I ended up taking that expense, you know, like I think month two, because in, in I first started off with doing invoices and that was horrible. That was like one of the biggest mistakes ever because I was having to chase people down to pay the invoice and I wasn't having them pay before because they were like, why am I paying before? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, this is what you're supposed to do. But, um, but, um, so I was having to chase people down. I can't tell you guys how many unpaid invoices I have, um, but um, it just didn't work. So I ended up switching and with that company, they held, um, they would charge the funds as soon as the cleaning service was done. Like once I like hit mark done, it would take the funds out of their account. But then I was still having problems that when they were taking the funds, funds going to take the funds out, the funds weren't available. So with booking Koala, which is really awesome, is that um, they will hold the funds on the card, just like when you go book like a um, a hotel and a rental car, they'll hold the funds. Um, so they will hold the funds 24 hours prior to the cleaning service, and then they will take the fund. You like you now that part you you'll set your own parameters, but then I had it to where like they would take the funds out of the account the following day that morning, just in case like the cleaning appointment got canceled or something, or, you know, they had to cancel whatever we reschedule. I didn't have to worry about like trying to do a refund. So I just set it to where um, it would take the funds out the next morning. And then when we checked in, we can either reschedule it and then the system would know not to take the funds. So yes, Booking Koala, that's like my hidden gem. It's the best booking platform for almost any local service space um, type of business. So with that list, okay, you guys, that will allow you to open up this cleaning company for under $100, okay? Now, yes, did I do all of these things my first time go around? No, I didn't. Am I recommending you to do it? Yes, I am. If you're trying to get this business started and you ain't got all that, do it. Girl, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do, okay? Do what you gotta do. First cleaning appointment you get, take that money that you're supposed to get, then go add on these services, okay? Um, and, I'm, 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 and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to say, like, don't do business right. I'm just saying I was in that predicament to where I needed money, I needed money now, like that commercial, and I wasn't gonna let anything stop me from getting it. So if that is you, do what you gotta do. If you like, no, I want to make sure I start legitimately and get out all my ducks in a row, A1 too, okay? 
I'm going to drop the list below in the comments and do your thing, all right? If you guys have any questions, go ahead and join the Facebook group. I'm going to be live in there answering any questions from after this video drops. And then if you guys want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, you guys need a little bit more help, um, let me know as well. And um, I did just drop a new course. So if you guys want an actual like step-by-step -step guide um, of lifetime access, um, that link will also be below as well. All right, catch me in the next video. You guys make sure to hit that bell, subscribe, like, share, and do all the things of all the things. Bye, y'all.